You're looking awfully dangerous here, wizard. This thing likes to guillotine people. Oh, okay. Whoa, that's the Whoa, oh, look at this. Is there any gear left on this thing? Holy smokes. Wow. Everything else combined, everything we just listed, you're gonna be a Welcome to Hoovy's Garage, the dumbest automotive channel in all of YouTube. And today we're going to find out how dumb I was for purchasing the cheapest Lamborghini Murcielago Roadster in the USA. And when I say cheapest, I mean absolutely the cheapest. My friend Ed Bolian at Vinwicky found this Murcielago Roadster for only $76,000. And he sold it to me with a hefty finder's fee because he is a shrewd negotiator. But still, I'm into this for under six figures, which is crazy. But it has a serious issue that is not obvious right now. It drives perfectly as long as you don't put it into first gear, which we're going to have to do that here in a bit because we're coming to a stop. Here it comes. Oh. Every time I have to stop in this thing, it is absolute agony. But as soon as I shift to second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, it's all good. All right. This is to merge onto the highway, so hopefully this is the last time before we get to the wizards that I have to hear this horrible noise. Oh, shift. There we go. Now I know a lot of you asked me in the last video why I don't just start out in second all the time, and it's the car, the computer won't let me. I have to start in first. And this noise that it's making is indicative of a serious failure inside of the transmission. Initially, the airbag light is on all the time, and intermittently I'm basking in the warm amber glow of the check engine light, so there are some other issues. It also leaks oil as well, so there's, there's plenty of things. Also, the doors, the doors try and kill me. So let's get up to the wizard. This is, might be the biggest repair estimate he has ever given me, but we'll see. Here's a new thing I noticed on our first highway drive. Anytime I try and bury the throttle in top gear, this happens. That would be the clutch slipping. Behold, wizard. It is definitely a sight to behold. 2006 Lamborghini Murcielago Roadster with the toupee. It looks like a beautiful piece of artwork from Banksy. It is lovely, and when I bought this, I knew I was going to make you the happiest man in the world because you love working on Lamborghinis. I do. And this one has a lot wrong with it. A lot, huh? A, a, a lot, oh, a lot. Oh no. Yeah. But it was extremely cheap, so hopefully this comes out as a win for me, it only has 17,000 miles on it and a clean Carfax. Wow, that's it, 17,000 miles. And it is in pretty nice shape. The front bumper's taking a little whack, but that's repairable. Yeah. Cosmetics wise, it's it's pretty good. It really is. It looks really good. The interior is kind of a love it or hate it kind of color combination. A lot of uh, cream sickle. I like it. Good. I like it too. Yeah. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Wizard, no, it's not on that side. The roadsters, they're here. They open up this way. Uh, oh. <laughs> Hard to do this one-handed. There, we go. there we go. Say hello. Backwards from the last one I worked on. Yes. It wasn't a roadster. Engine runs beautifully. Intermittent check engine light, airbag lights. The issues are with the transmission. As I've told you, it seems like we have an internal failure oh, on the yeah? transmission. So you, went, you sent out for a quote uh, for a rebuild, mm -hmm. assuming that's what it is. So did you get that back yet? So yeah, I got some stuff back. We'll talk about it here in a little bit, but yes, I did get that information back. Good. Okay. Well, guess we can start investigating. Yes, let's hook it up to the computer and see if we can see anything. You're looking awfully dangerous here, wizard. This thing likes to guillotine people. <laughs> I'll like hold it up for you. Oh good. It's like a scissor. Yes, it is like a scissor door. It, well, it is a scissor door. It's, it, it's a scissor door. 
Yes. And you knew it was a good day in school when one of these carts showed up in the classroom and Wizards recreated that except with his diagnostic mm -hmm. setup here. Ignition activation cylinder 9. One of your coils has a bad circuit. I see. And a random misfire detected. Hmm. Well, it doesn't feel like it's misfiring. It's probably not happening all the time, just once in a while. And if you got 12 cylinders and one of them's acting up intermittently, it'd be hard to... A little bit harder to detect. So you're just throwing coils in it? Or one coil? Or well, we could find cylinder number nine and then check that coil. Huh. Okay. Well, that seems pretty uh, undramatic. Yeah. It's definitely going to go more downhill from here. It's not going to be coils. It's right. going to be bad. But uh, first, tell me about my SL. This is actually my first car. My grandmother got this new 1985 500 SL and she gave it to me when I was a kid in high school. I was a really lucky kid, so it's kind of fun to see the first car I've ever owned, yeah. a convertible, and my most recent purchase that is also a convertible. And this one actually has a more advanced soft top than the Murcia Lago Roadster. <laughs> but you finally have my electrical gremlin tackled? Yeah, where it was not shutting off the engine till you closed the door and all yeah. that stuff. It's yeah. actually the old aftermarket uh, remote start system. It just failed. <laughs> yeah, I installed that in high school. In high school? Uh huh. Yeah. Wow. Is that what this mess here is? Yeah, that's the that's the spaghetti mess I pulled from under the dash. That's all the wiring you pulled out of this car. As soon as that was removed, all the problems went away. Well, that's great. So now I have a non-demon possessed 500 SL, which I guess I can drive home. This was the last voyage in the Murcielago for a very long time, probably. Oh, yes. But at least I can take this guy home. Mm hmm enjoy the spring weather that's coming up, right? Yeah, it's got a new battery and it's ready to go. And speaking of convertibles, how about my Elante? Yes, my 1993 Cadillac Elante with the North Star engine. It's been up here for a while. The suspension's all done? Suspension's done, all new struts and shocks. We got the oil pressure sensor fixed. There's no more bonging noises I yeah. drive. You got your oil leak fixed. The only thing left is the theft deterrent light, and I think I'm going to have to bypass the VAT system on it. I see. It's just, it goes bad, and then the only thing, the cheapest option to do is just to bypass it. Nice. So this is getting very close. Yes. And my Bentley, you've been working on that too. So the stupid mineral oil system has been plaguing us from the beginning. We fixed all the leaks. The previous owner fixed all the leaks that he had, but then it just goes to the next weakest link, and the last time, whatever leaked, it was really bad, so bad that I slipped in the puddle and banged mm -hmm. my knee, so it actually hurt me. The accumulator spheres have been replaced before you got it. Right. And right above that there's some o-rings. There's like a spring-loaded cap and some other things that were actually starting to pour out of it. Mm. So they didn't address that when they had the spheres off I guess. But okay. We got it fixed now. And you got the strut mounts on so I don't have the clunk anymore. Yeah. And I see some window motor over here, huh? I was able to repair the one that you had. I soaked the chain in some oil and got it unstuck. I welded a nut on this to make this work again. And we'll put it back together and with a new gear, rebuild the motor, and the final door will be done. Very nice. Well, that's good. It's all good news here in the wizard shop, but I'm procrastinating here because... You're waiting for the bad news. <laughs> it's going to be bad. Yeah. Get it up on the lift and see how bad. Yeah, let's find out. Look inside of this transmission. Mm. Ooh. And the axle lift works too, wizard. Mm, that's very good. How about that? No, it's warmed up here inside of your heated shop. The door's staying up. So you would lay there and trust it? Uh, well, not really. We'll still need to replace the struts and the right. doors. But right. at least it's not trying to kill me. Yeah. Look at that. All right, wizard, judgment day. You got the... The economy brakes, I see. Uh, no, those are those are ceramic brakes. Those are oh, quite expensive. I know. I'm being facetious here. But they last a long time. Yeah, just don't crack one. No, no. Only seventeen thousand miles on the rotors, though. Shouldn't yeah. be a problem. Let's take a looky see here. Quite a bit of scrapey, scrapey, which is kind of sad considering oh, this yeah. car has axle lift. Not too bad, but well, it's not that big of a deal. No, it's all repairable. And up front, there's not a lot of business going on other than the fact that it's all-wheel drive. It has a front differential right here. If, hey, your, your brake ducts aren't all trashed. Most of these are just destroyed. Oh, those good. Are, those are in good shape. No leaks on your shocks with the lift capa capability on them. Great. No leaky leaky. Well, there is some leaky leaky, <laughs> wizard. It's, it's in the back, though. It's in the back. Okay. Look at this flat, very aerodynamic underbody. It's like an upside-down dinner table. Sure is, but... 
Here's the front drive shaft, and it's going to the transaxle here, huh? Yep. Or it's in the front. Lamborghinis are weird like this. So what you would think would go to the rear wheels actually goes to the front. Hmm. And then what would normally go to the front goes to the rear. So there's another, there's the other little drive shaft. Yes, right here, alongside the engine. That's this is something weird about Lamborghinis because you see most of these mid-engine cars, the transmission is in the back, like my Ferrari 348. Mm -hmm. It's backwards. Most other cars, it's backwards. The transmission, for some reason, is here yes. in the middle. There's some seepage going on here. Yeah. It's coming from this little seal here. Ah, on the rear yeah. differential. Mm-hmm. Not that big of a deal. There's your, your oil filter seems to be leaking. Really? Yeah. Is it just on there loose? Are you, is it oil? Mm -hmm. It's obviously oil. You did not need to taste it. Okay. Huh. <laughs> I think it's just a little loose or is it something above it? Let's huh. see if it's loose. Good, it's not loose. That's good. Oh, these are so beefy. These are some wide tires. I think the Viper is the only one that matches the, the width, huh? Mm -hmm. Super wide. Pretty hard though. What's the day code on these? Let's see. Looks like tires from 2004. I think this one had aftermarket wheels on it for a long time. That's why the rears are still original. But yeah. the fronts, the fronts look to have been replaced at least. 18. Yeah, 2018. Yeah. So I don't have to worry about the fronts, but the rears, that's going to be expensive. Mm -hmm. But I'm kind of procrastinating talking about tires, Wizard, because uh, we need to see what's inside of this transmission. The elephant in the room. Yeah. Well, we could drain a little bit of oil and see what we see in it. Okay. See if it looks like kindergarten glitter paint. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. This loot actually looks pretty good. Maybe it's been changed before to try and fix something. I think so. Yeah. They thought that maybe that would fix it. It smells bad though. It smells burned, yeah. It definitely smells burned. Whoa. Whoa, that's the Whoa, <laughs> look at this. Oh my gosh. There's the teeth, there's first gear teeth. This magnet has caught a couple of teeth from the transmission. Oh no. So these are really, really big pieces, wizard. Yes, they are. I want to get a magnet up inside of here and see if I can pull some more chunks out. <laughs> okay. Uh, here's something. You went, oh my God. <laughs> oh, you went yes. fishing and you came up with some more gear. Oh, there's first gear. You're holding first gear. Wow. That is some catastrophic failure right there. I can't believe the transmission is still working with all this stuff floating around inside of it. Well, the magnet caught it is what's well, most of it, but it's so heavy that it doesn't float. Right. I'm gonna go fishing again here. <laughs> Yes! Is there any gear left on this thing? So every time I heard that horrific noise in first gear, this is what was coming off of the transmission. There's not much left of first gear by the looks of it. No, I can't believe it's still moving in first gear at all with all the missing teeth or whatever. Jeez, I dropped a piece. Wowza. All right, so we are looking at definitely a rebuild or, or a replacement. Yeah, to definitely. To use replacement, wow. You can't keep driving on that. Jeez. Yeah, let's look at the fluid here. Glitter. Glitter it glue. Is very glittery. Oh, yeah, move the flashlight around. Oh, yeah. Don't drop the GoPro, but there is definitely a lot of lady glitter sparkle on this thing. Seriously. It feels, this feels heavy. It feels very ex expensive. This will put back this putrid sewage back into the transmission just so you can move it around it but yeah it's, it's the damage has been done yeah. and now the the real damage <laughs> this is probably gonna be the worst one ever in wizard's office as far as the estimates go mm. i wonder where i'm gonna shop for <laughs> he's now. very excited maybe maybe i could sell these to help fund the new transmission anybody interested any takers wizard this is the longest you've ever taken to write up an estimate and oh, well, I'm, I'm shopping for other things now. <laughs> you're done, and this you're is looking a... to buy Rangaya Island in Thailand? Yes, it's just off, east off the island of Phuket? Phuket. 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 But it's $160 million? <laughs> oh, yes. Rangaya Island, huh? That's, that's the most expensive thing you've ever gone shopping for before one of these, so... This is the most excited I've ever been to give you an estimate. Yay. Stop it. Okay, go. <laughs> okay, for your coil, to replace the coil. Yes. If that's all it is. Uh-huh. 300 bucks. Really? Mm -hmm. That's not an absurd Lamborghini price for a coil. Okay. All right, starting off right. Okay, and the rear tires. Yes. 
Five hundred dollars each. <laughs> yeah. A grand for two rear tires. That's about the same as a Viper. I mean, that's I kind of expected that. Yes. The rear diff output seal is just an O-ring. Mm -hmm. CV shaft off and. 250 bucks. Really? Labor and the O-ring is really not the expensive part, just the time to do it. Cool. Okay. We'll do the oil change and everything. 200 bucks. Wonderful. The door struts? Yes. They're, the, the parts themselves are only about 80 or 100 bucks a piece. Nice. But the labor, I have to pull the panels and everything completely off. Ooh. $500 for two door struts. Oh, well that's not... Oh, absurd cool. no but i definitely don't want to be chopped in half by doors it's kind of embarrassing getting out in my lamborghini and it eating me all right well so far we've only spent a couple of grand so we're getting to the to the big one uh oh, anything oh, else oh, yes. yeah he's got a whole page for the transmission oh, great boy. okay let me let me get ready for this all right okay so starting off we'll just charge you the parts and labor for the clutch because it's gonna have to all come out anyways right you mean taking out the engine, the engine separating it because we're yeah. okay that's yeah. gonna be the same regardless what we do that sounds 8, fair. 500 bucks for that that's your labor that's parts and labor oh okay so the clutch the is clutch and the labor pull the motor split it apart and do the clutch that's it all right i got the quote back from the guy to rebuild your transmission good Regardless of parts, just the labor for the guy to do it is $4,000. Okay, so that's taking it apart, cleaning it, rebuilding yeah. it. Okay, it's $4,000. That's, that's pretty good. Yeah, I'll take it. And first gear, just the gear? Oh. $5,400 just for the gear. For the parts? Just for the parts to do first gear. Oh. And $5,400 for every gear thereafter that's bad. Oh. Very likely it could be thirty grand if every gear had chips and teeth missing. Because of all that metal going around in there. Um, oh. Grand. Or if it if it didn't do much damage, then it's just the first gear, and then right. it's then it's what Maybe. ninety five, ten thousand. Yeah. Used yeah. options. Used options. Yes, I can get you a used. See that transmission is the same whether it's an e gear or a manual. Yes. It just has the e gear components bolted to the manual. Mm -hmm. So we can get you a used manual transmission for six grand. It's a complete transmission. That's you still add, expensive. And you add that to the eighty five hundred, and then you're at fourteen five. That's fourteen thousand five hundred dollars to put in the transmission clutch job on top of everything else everything else combined everything we just listed you're going to be at 18 grand oh it was at this moment that he knew he you okay oh my god oh. <laughs> don't hurt yourself now yeah yeah i have a, I have a island to buy yeah okay yeah uh-huh that's a difficult pill to swallow isn't it yeah but if we went the option of having it rebuilt, it would, if every gear had to be replaced, mm -hmm. forty-eight grand. Forty-eight thousand dollars. Yeah. <laughs> We're definitely going used. Used. Oh, used. Yeah. yeah I'm used. You. Used. Totally. And that total was was what again? I hit my head. Eighteen grand for 18. the transmission, the clutch, the pulling of the motor, the. The door struts, diff seal, tires, coil, everything. $18,000. $18,000. That would buy a lot of hoopties just to fix this one. But add that on to what you paid for the car. I did get it cheap. It's not really that bad. And if that's close to all there is, then I am still into this car for well under what it's worth. Yeah. So Ed may have not shrewdly negotiated me into a, a hole here. I, I actually... Actually, it might be okay. This is going to be a big project. Oh, yes. It's going to take a while. It's going to be here for a while. But uh, I can drive my SL home. You can. My, 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 my other convertible. My first convertible. Your so first convertible. Yeah. Here we go. All right. Uh, yeah. Get ready credit card. And thank you for watching. <laughs>